This is the Wanderer, a one-of-a-kind airplane with a very unique feature, the Lamb Aileron, the brainchild of a brilliant aerospace engineer, Larry Lamb. Born in China in 1924, Larry built his first airplane from bamboo at age five. His prolific aviation career saw him become a two-time national modeling champion, an accomplished aircraft builder, and a senior research scientist in the aerospace industry. After World War II, Larry immigrated to the U.S., where he spent decades working for the likes of Lockheed, McDonnell Douglas, Hughes, and Rockwell. He played key roles in the development of first-generation ICBMs, the XB-70 and B-1 bombers, the lifting bodies, and the space Houston shuttle itself. In the early 70s, Larry started his own pilot training, and on his first flight, while making his first few turns, he personally experienced the effects of adverse yaw. With nearly 40 years as a designer and builder, and 25 years as an aerospace engineer, Larry thought to himself as he was leaving the airport, there has got to be a better way. And that was the genesis of the Lamb Aileron. With his experience in aviation, he immediately recognized and, and uh, appreciated the experience of adverse yaw and almost as quickly developed a solution for it for improved management of average show. Soon after passing his check ride, Larry began fulfilling a lifelong dream, the design and construction of his own personal aircraft. It would, of course, explore and feature the Lamb Aileron. So, on a strict budget of just $25 a week, Larry hand-crafted the Wanderer in his very own garage, building nearly every component from scratch, including the first Lamb Aileron. The lamb aileron replaces a conventional aileron with two panels, one on top of the other. So instead of having this one panel that deflects up and down as an aileron, we have two panels and they deflect up only on one side to generate a rolling moment. Larry and his wife logged more than 500 hours in the Wanderer without any flight control problems. Proof that the lamb aileron works. What's more, he flew to Oshkosh three times, drawing interest from Boeing, Cessna, Raytheon, and NASA engineers who planned to further investigate it. We were invited to present at NASA Langley and uh, did so and uh, consistently received positive validation for the device and the airplane that my father had installed it on. With such positive feedback, Larry and his son Michael patented his innovation and formed LAM Aviation. By uncoupling the traditional relationship between ailerons and flaps, the LAM aileron allows for flaps and ailerons of any span. So, in addition to superior roll control and mitigating the effects of adverse yaw, the LAM aileron opens up a whole new range of possibilities of variable geometry for a wing to improve aircraft performance. For example, we can take those two panels, the auxiliary flap panel and the upper aileron panel, and use them together to form a drag rudder as on a flying wing. We can operate them together on both wings to form speed brakes. Something we're, we, we intend to investigate in the future is that doing this on both wings, forming drag riders on both wings, may be a method of spin recovery. Larry passed away in March of 2010, but his innovative approach to new wing design is soaring to new heights. In partnership with Greg Cole of Windward Performance, LAM Aviation has produced a new demonstration of the LAM aileron. The improved aileron provides many benefits, including reduced fuel consumption, increase in useful load, and improved cruise performance. So anybody seeking to improve a current wing design or to optimize the design of a new wing should, uh, should investigate the Lamb Aileron.